welcome back, folks. Uh, last time on Austin World, we did a little bit of kinematics, and now we will be doing what goes boom with a little bit of collisions. Now, this concept in physics is the conservation of momentum. What we're going to be starting, as we saw in the photo, is in the diagram. Young Austin is going to be running in and getting the super, superstar pink star, which will give him invulnerability until he hits something. Since he is invulnerable for now, he runs into the puka, which is also running towards him very, very slowly. Now, the initial velocities is Austin is running with his star power at 3.2 meters per second, while the puka is a little slower at 1.5 meters per second. Austin is 91 kilograms, and the puka is working is moving 70 kilograms, including himself and the weight of the shell. Now, after the collision, what's going to happen is the actual puka is going to fall on the ground, whereas his shell is going it's going to move the opposite direction. Thus, the conservation of energy will be conserved in this energy collision conservation energy collision. Fascinating. Now the initial, the initial equation is going to be the initial momentum is going to equal the final momentum because in physics all energy is conserved. So we have the initial momentum of Austin plus the initial momentum of Puka equaling the final momentum of Austin plus the final momentum of the Puka which are just final for our sake, the total. So MAVA will equal Austin, which is mass times velocity, and we're going to be making sure we do the same ones for all the other components in the equation. Fascinating. Now plugging into the values, the mass of Austin is 91 kilograms. He's moving at 3.2 meters per second. And then the Pukas, which is 70 kilograms, moving at a, make sure you get this, negative 1.5 meters per second because he's moving in the opposite direction as Austin. And we're going to be having that equal the final, which is the mass of, we're trying to find the mass of the shell, so mass of the shell times its velocity. Now just to rewrite that to make that a little bit neater, we need we also know that the mass of the shell, or the velocity of the shell, moves away at 8 meters per second. So we'll plug that in. So dividing all portions by 8, and with some clearly mathematical skills on our calculators, we come to the, the final equation that sets the shell mass equaling 23.275 kilograms exactly. Thank you very much and Kabbalah.